by Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has recently ended support and deprecated the Cortana app on Windows 10 and Windows 11, as I have been posting. And although the app um, is no longer, we still cannot uninstall the Cortana app in the stable version of Windows 10 and Windows 11, although the app has been deprecated. Now, this could all be set to change, as I posted last month, with uh, the then latest Canary Channel build, uh, that rolled out around about the 13th, 14th of July this year, built 25905. Microsoft finally started making it possible to be able to uninstall Cortana on Windows 11. Now, um, over and above that, there is maybe a little bit more good news when it comes to built-in apps being uninstalled because, as I posted earlier today, Microsoft um, on the 16th of August released Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25931 to the Canary Channel Insiders, which is this week's latest canary build and a little change and improvement was listed in the release notes which could almost go unnoticed but just to let you know that along with the new feature and improvements that did roll out this week for the canary channel microsoft has also now announced that you can finally uninstall the windows photos app the people app and the remote desktop mstsc client starting with build 25931 which i think is going to be good news for a lot of users because as you will know like cortana as an example the photos app and those other apps mentioned which are stock or built-in apps or default apps if we right click on the photos app currently in windows 11 there is no uninstall option and that's also the, the case when you go to your apps and apps and features list in your settings so uh, windows photos app people app remote desktop are able to be in, uninstalled in this week's Canary Channel Build 25931, which I think has been a long time coming, because as um, many of you will know, there are a lot of so-called built-in or stock apps or default apps that just bloat up Windows 11. And finally now, Microsoft is making the option available to start uninstalling those built-in apps. And although um, this is possible in the Canary Build for this week, um, as mentioned uh, previously, it's still very early days in the Canary channel, so um, it doesn't mean that because the option to uninstall those apps is available in the Canary channel, it will make its way into the stable version. But personally, because Microsoft has already deprecated Cortana, and as I have posted previously, you can uninstall Cortana uh, in previous Canary channel boards, I personally think that those options to start uninstalling um, so-called built-in or default apps for Windows 11 will start rolling out in up-and-coming stable versions, although we don't know, know exactly when that will take place. And I also think, from my personal point of view, that Microsoft will also start making that available over on Windows 10 um, to be able to uninstall stock apps on Windows 10, although that has not been confirmed. But nonetheless, because it has been tested uh, in this week's latest Canary Channel Ball 25931, been able to uninstall photos, people, and remote desktop um, there is maybe a good chance that this will make its way down into the stable version, which I think for a lot of users, including myself, would be good news. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.